100,000 is the number of Somali refugees residing in Kenyan comms. There are also some 240,000 Somalis in the Ethiopian refugee comms at the moment. These persons in exile can now plan their lives ahead in their own land, as the Global Refugee Agency has proposed the formation of a body that will handle the repatriation of Somali refugees from Kenya and other neighboring states. In the longer term, we are discussing with the governments that are hosting Somali refugees, Kenya, Ethiopia, and the government of Somalia, to prepare for that eventual repatriation of these of the refugees to the country when the conditions are conducive. The United Nations High Commission for Refugee, UNHCR, boss Antonio Guterres wants the refugees most based at Dadab camp be returned home in phases managed by a special commission. And the job will be handled by a group from Somalia and Kenya. But UNHCR wants to make sure the refugees are not going back to their nation just for the sake of returning home only. What we do not want is people to go back home just to be on the move again, either uh, returning to where they were or moving to another country. Uh, we need to avoid at all costs that now people move from <coughs> Kenya to Somalia to then move to, from Somalia to Ethiopia or uh, vice versa, or uh, 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 to become a factor of uh, destabilization. That's why it's so important to do well the preparation of um, uh, uh, voluntary repatriation. The Kenyan government has been demanding that the neighboring Somali refugees return home following the achievement of relative peace by AU forces in the Eastern Africa country. Still, the UN Agency for Refugees is convinced that the repatriation process should not be undercooked. We are working with the international community, with the government of Somalia, to try to prepare the grounds for the refugees to go back so that when they return they do not find that there is a need for them to return into Ethiopia or to Kenya where they have just been because the services or livelihoods in their country is not there. Because of frequent conflicts, migration in Eastern Africa region is still a big concern. Paradoxically, however, lack of adequate money to run the many refugee camps in the region, life may not be the same for the newly exiled people again. Currently, Somalia is relatively peaceful and its citizens who left the country because of the Zen bloody conflict and in fear of Al-Shabaab are now returning home on their own. But all stakeholders fear that if Somali's government cannot be supported in the right manner to help it play its role, then stopping refugees from that land is far from reality. Gruntala CCTV, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.